Hi there. Happy last day of 2020. We are here. It's December 31st. Um, and we're going to look at um, the readings from O Radiant Dawn today and talk a little bit about end of year reflections. So let's start. Let's see. Let's start with the Holy Spirit prayer and then we're going to kind of look at both sets of scripture. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they are they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Okay, so let's start. Um, today I'm going to read from, this is the Ignatius Journaling Bible. Um, it's the RSV version. and. Uh, basically, only because that was the closest version I could find at three o'clock this morning. So, um, so I'm going to start there, and um, we're going to be in the first letter of John first. So, the first letter of John, chapter two, um, verses eighteen to about twenty-five. We'll go that far. Then we're going to flip to the Gospel of John. So, um, first John, chapter two. 18. Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that and as you have heard that antichrist is coming, so now many antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. They weren't went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been, they would have continued with us. But they went out that it might have been, might be plain that they are not all of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all know. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and know that no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, he who denies the Father and the Son. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father. He who confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he has promised us, eternal life. So let's start um, with these verses. Um, pardon me for stumbling over words. Um, the font in this Bible is really small and my eyes are really old. So, um, and I need to find an eye doctor here in Connecticut. So there you go. Um, so let's start with the Antichrist. First of all, the Antichrist is not the devil. Um, it's anyone who denies that Jesus is the Messiah. So um, there's definitely more than one Antichrist, right? Um, for us, the Antichrist is anything that gets in the way of us living out the gospel. So anything that we're replacing Jesus with in our lives. Um, anything that makes us live like, um, like Jesus doesn't exist or like he's not important, that's the Antichrist. So basically secularism is the Antichrist. Um, in order to guard, okay, and the other thing is, it is the last hour. Um, remember John wrote this 2000 years ago. Um, so was it the last hour? Um, I think we all have to remember that God's time is not our time. And I think that that's important this year to remember um, from the perspective of, um, of all the people who are so very excited about new, a new calendar, a new year, uh, a new number at the end of our date. Um, but those numbers aren't God's number. And we know deep down that, that tomorrow is going to be very much like today. Not that much is going to change from day to day. And, um, and our expectations for 2021 need to be kept in check in the sense that what were your expectations for 2020? Um, think about that. <laughs> Silly giggles. Um, God has plans for us. And our, our greatest, greatest thing that we can do with 2021 is to surrender our will to those plans. So, um, so it's good to do a periodic reflection. 
there are lots of periodic reflections, lots of end of year reflections available out there. Um, and I urge you to look at them, but also to keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Let's look at simple reflections of this year and follow a pattern, quite frankly, that you can use um, in the last hours of your day, in the last hours of this year, and in the last hours of your life. <coughs> so let's examine in three parts. All right, so the three parts, um, I, okay, so this is a little bit silly, but maybe not. There's this song that my kids sung when they were little, when they were learning sign language. Um, and it's, please thank you, sorry. And that song reminds me what the three parts are to a good examination. Maybe not in that order, but um, but the, the song was to teach them the, the sign language for really good... Um, manners words right magic words for manners so so please thank you and sorry um and um and that's those are the words that we can use for a really good end of the year end of the day examination of conscience so hold that thought and let's just read a little bit of the gospel according to john chapter one from today's gospel starting at verse 14 and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten son from the father. John bore witness to him and cried, this was he of whom I said, he who comes after me ranks before me for he was before me. Here's the money quote. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. <coughs> Even in 2020, we have all received grace upon grace. So now let's pay attention. Let's pay attention to grace upon grace using those three magic words. Please, thank you, sorry. Let's rearrange them. Let's do thank you, sorry, please. All right, so thank you. First of all, look for your graces and count them. Literally count them, make a list enumerate them. Um, the sacraments are graces. They're tangible graces. We can receive the Lord. We can hear the words of forgiveness. Um, that is a grace. Count it. Thank God for it. Um, friendships are graces. Look on this last year and see where the friendships are, where the relationships have changed. Um, the things that you've learned about yourself, the things that you've learned about the people you love, there are lots of graces embedded in this past year. Don't miss them. Count them. Um, I started a little hashtag on my personal, um, at Elizabeth Foss at Instagram, um, are a time to keep. There are things about 2020 we want to keep. Give yourself time today to stop and consider what those things are. Don't let those pass you by uncounted. So count your graces, right? So, um, so then please, I mean, so thank you, sorry. So the thing about graces is some of them go unclaimed. Some of them go unused. Um, sometimes we waste them. So look back on the year and see where the wasted graces are and repent of that. Um, where do we waste time? Where do we miss opportunities to serve? Where are the places that we could have truly grown and we resisted that? Um, where did we let the acedia of this year just slide into nothingness? Um, we can build on grace and we can also recover or regain lost grace. So thank God for the good graces and apologize for the lost grace and ask for forgiveness and seek to sin no more. Um, uh, the squandered graces need to be acknowledged and then you have to resolve to not do that again, to not miss the opportunity, to not squander the grace. Um, so it's easy to make a list of the good graces, the things that are obvious. And it's it's also easy out to recognize the, the squandered graces. I mean, if we're honest with ourselves, we can see the places that we squandered grace. But what about the crosses? 
Can you be grateful for the crosses? Can you look at the crosses in your life and recognize the way that God walked with you in that cross, the ways that Jesus helped you carry that cross, um, and the way you've changed for the better because of that cross? Can you see how the cross has made you holier? Um, I think that that is a really important thing to do um, at the end of the day, every day, and at the end of this year, to see what the crosses were and to see what God is doing with us in that cross. Um, God is good all the time. Even in 2020, God was good. Find it, see it, recognize it and then be grateful for it. Gratitude is the way our souls respond to God's goodness. And our souls bloom in the presence of gratitude. So find it. Find the things that you can be grateful for. And give your soul time to respond to that goodness. Um, and then express the sorrow for the sin of wasted time and let those sins go. If you can get to confession today, awesome. If you can't get there until next year, next year, yeah, next week, next year, that's okay too. But let it go. Get rid of the weight of those squandered graces. Get rid of it, right? Um, and then, so now we've done thank you, and we've done um, sorry, and let's do please. So the thing that I think is cool about this, and I was like playing with this a little bit this morning, and I'm a little bit sleep deprived, so just bear with me. So please, thank you, and then sorry. Sorry, help. Sorry, help. Help, please. They're all so closely related. Help, please. Help, please. Um, I think that, um, I might have done that wrong. Did I do that wrong? No, it is. It's sorry, please. And help. Right. <laughs> sorry, please. Help. Um, so what do we want? We want help, please. And, um, and I think that we can ask, this is where we get grace upon grace. We get grace upon grace. We're promised grace upon grace. So we ask for grace. We say, help, please give me the grace to grow, to improve in the things that are essential to holiness. Let that be the only resolution I have for this next year to improve, to grow in what is essential for holiness. Um, so we ask those prayers, we pray those prayers, um, and we do it knowing that the answers aren't always, we don't always get our prayers granted right away, our, our wishes granted right away. That's not the way this works. He's not a fairy godmother. Um, <clears throat> some of those prayers will take a lifetime to live out, to see the fruit of those prayers. And, um, as I was reminded the other day, some of them we won't see the fruit of in our lifetimes, but that does not mean there isn't fruit. It means we didn't see it, or it means that he's still working on it. But God hears and he answers every, every prayer. Um, and there will be fruit. If we ask for grace, we get grace. Um, that's promised to us. So that's the way to go out. Let's spend today in a little bit of prayer and a little bit of contemplation, prop your Bible in front of you and understand that from the fullness of all we have received, grace upon grace. And then say thank you, say sorry, and say please going into the new year. Um, I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. Um, I, can't, um, I can't make it work with our mass time. Um, and then on Saturday, oh, Sarah, really? Uh, on Saturday, um, I am going to be at Stephanie Weiner. Um, she and I are going to do an Instagram live together on her Instagram. Um, and I'll put a, a 
reminder up here for you. We're going to talk about this past year and how um, acedia has really crept in and how um, a flip of the calendar page or a new diet is really not going to fix anything. Um, we need to confront that that acedia. We need to um, learn how to say thank you and um, sorry and please and to adore. So um, it's a coffee chat, super casual. Um, we love to do this together. Um, there is probably nothing I love more um, on the internet than when Stephanie and I get to chat. Um, and I just think this is such a great Saturday morning, first Saturday of the new year. I am tickled to pieces to be able to do that with her. So um, so join us at Stephanie Weinert and, um, and we're gonna bring this year in just right. So have a beautiful, beautiful, thoughtful, reflective, celebratory evening tonight. Be safe, be good, um, snuggle up well tomorrow, and um, welcome this new year and this new opportunity. Oh, time for the coffee chat, nine o'clock. So um, we're just going to be a Saturday morning, nine o'clock. Um, nine o'clock at Stephanie Weiner tomorrow on Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Um, and I'll, I'll try to keep reminding you here, reminding you on my feed. Stephanie will remind you on hers. 9 a.m. Eastern Time, the first Saturday of the new year. So January 2nd. Um, and I am really happy to have that opportunity to talk with you. So happy new year. We did it. We're done. This year is over. We'll see you in the new year. Bye. Bye.